Now it's time for today's Gossip Calendar update where we let you know what's going on in and around the Duke City. And today we're taking a look at the other Mozart playing at the Ox Dog Theater. Described by the New York Times as strikingly beautiful, the one woman drama is set in and on a magnificent 18 foot dress created to fill and spill over the entire stage. The other Mozart is based on facts, stories, and lines pulled directly from the Mozart family's humorous and heartbreaking letters. Joining me now to talk all about this is Bridget Kelly from the Ox Dog Theater. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having us. So I have to say, when I heard that we were talking about the other Mozart, I was like, there's another Mozart? I had no idea. So let's talk yeah. about this. Who was Mozart's sister? I didn't even know she, he had a sister. I know. It's amazing. Yeah, she was a child prodigy as well. Okay. Nanerl Mozart. And we are offering a one-woman show that is based on this child prodigy. Mm -hmm. She was kind of eclipsed by his genius. Yeah. Once he was discovered, you know, being a female in mm -hmm. the 1700s, they, they sort of, she sort of was a little bit stifled. And yeah. we don't know that much about her. But in our production, which is from New York, it features Samantha Heffer, who mm -hmm. is an award-winning actress from Germany. So playing she's her. coming from Germany and from New York. Exactly. To New Mexico. Yes, That's to New Mexico. And okay. we were able to bring it because our artistic director, Victoria Liberatore of Ox Dog, mm -hmm. knew the woman that did the movement coordination for the show. Okay. The show features an 18 by 18 foot dress. I want to talk about that dress. Is it, is it? Do you know if it's difficult for Samantha to kind of do this role in this huge dress? Absolutely. Okay. And I think that that's part of the statement is yeah. that here was this genius female composer, mm -hmm. sort of you know in a corseted dress, you know also brilliant, yeah. um, and you know she was she married well, but she wasn't able to really have her genius come out and a yeah. lot of her music was lost but there's a tiny portion of her music that's in the show that's so great. we're really excited about it so this kind of i mean it, in a way it kind of tackle, tackles like gender roles especially you know back in the day and you can kind of connect with that here yeah, um, so she, she's from germany do you know how she's been has she been affected by this in a way, um, uh, uh, learning about Mozart and his sister? Absolutely, and also the thing is that it's a one-woman show. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've got to have some stamina to do something like this, yeah. and you know, um, I think it runs about an hour. And um, this is headlining Q Solo Festival, okay. which is a bunch. Uh, it's four local authors who have also written a solo show, okay. co-produced by um, Soul Acting Academy and Ox Dog. So it's four, four different shows. So there, can you get tickets to all four of these shows? Yes, actually. Okay. So it's the four solo local authors, okay. and then this is, the other Mozart is headlining this. Okay, so it's five shows yes. total. Yes. Now, how difficult is it to do a one-person show? Oh, it is so interesting that yeah. you ask that. Because, like I mentioned, you've got to have the stamina, mm -hmm. and also you've got to hold the interest. Yeah. You know, and what I think is absolutely incredible about this other Mozart piece is that you've got this stunning visual statement yeah. about being female, being in this dress yes. that is probably, you know, like gorgeous and elegant, but also constricting. Okay. And it's written by Sylvia Milo, who um, originally did the show, and then she got um, Samantha. And Samantha got stalled in Dallas because of weather, oh, so that's okay. why I'm here with you today. Well, we're glad you're here with Thank us, you. Bridget. So, I mean, I think it's incredible that we're having Samantha come from New York to here. Yes. So, was that a difficult process getting, or does that happen all the time with the Ox Dog? Well, fortunately, Vicki Liberatore, the artistic yeah. director, comes from um, Princeton Rep mm -hmm. in New Jersey, so she has a lot of experience and connections on the East Coast. And because of um, the woman, Janice Orlandi, mm -hmm. who is the choreographer and movement coordinator for uh, Samantha, mm -hmm. they were colleagues and we were able to bring her nice. and have her headline Q Solo Festival, so we're so super exciting. excited. Yeah, okay, so how can people get tickets? And do they get tickets to all five shows? You is can, okay. you can. If you get tickets to all of them, there is a discount. Great. That's all on our website, oxdog.com. Okay. Uh, if you buy tickets online, it's a little bit cheaper. Um, and I believe it is for the other Mozart, it is $20 at the door and $15 online. Okay. And for the other solo shows, I believe it's $10. Mm -hmm. um, all of that information is on our website. Great. And then one last so. time, when are the dates? 
The, it opens tomorrow, the 22nd, and runs through the 31st. Great. Well, this should be super exciting. Thank you so much for coming in, and thank, thank you for you. sharing this. And we're excited to see, you know, how everything goes. So you have to let us know. All right. Well, thank if you guys you. want tickets and you want a link to their website, we'll just head over to Casa.com. We'll have it there for you. But if you have an event that you want to submit to our Casa calendar, let the community know about, just head over to Casa.com. Click on the local events tab and then click submit. It's that easy.